This is a quick revision summary of everything you need to know for the last and final topic in your AQA Physics GCSE. So this topic starts off with motors. Um, when we have a current flowing, this um, produces a magnetic field. Here we have the magnet, here we have the magnet, and here we're going to have our wire, this is the axle going down the middle. This interacts, the magnetic field interacts with the magnets on the either side. And if we look at Fleming's left-hand law with our magnetic field going from north to south, and our... Um, current going round the circuit like this you'll notice that either side of the magnet either side of the coil uh, has forces going in different direction this causes the coil to rotate so the current flows magnetic field is created around the coil this interacts with the magnet and the speed depends on the current and the strength of the magnetic field now, loads and loads of questions, I've seen them ask on this, are all about transformers. Uh, one type of transformer that you need to know about is a switch mode transformer. These are very efficient and uh, they charge your phone or your iPad. Um, and when they're not plugged in, they're very low power use. And they're between 50 and 200 um, kilohertz. So this is our transformer here. We have a primary coil and a secondary coil and our iron core. We have an AC current um, in here and then an induced potential difference over here and uh, an induced magnetic field. <coughs> so the AC current is constantly changing direction, which means the magnetic field is constantly changing direction, inducing a potential difference in the secondary coil. Two different types of transformers we can have are step up and step down transformers. So a step up transformer is going to have more coils on the secondary coil and a step down is going to have less coils on the um, secondary coil. And this is good for, it means we have a very efficient uh, national grid system. We can have houses, power stations which supply a lot of electricity and we can have a safe amount of electricity coming into our homes. So there are two equations you need to know for this. That the potential difference across the primary coil times the current in the primary coil is equal to potential difference in the secondary coil times the, poten the current in the secondary coil. Plug your numbers into the, into the equation, work it out, and don't forget to add your units on the end. The second equation that we can use is potential difference in the primary coil divided by potential difference in the secondary coil is, sorry, is equal to... Um, Right, potential difference in the primary coil divided by potential difference in the secondary coil is equal to the number of turns in the primary coil divided by the number of turns in the secondary coil. So again, plug our numbers in and don't forget to give our units. <laughs>